Welcome everyone. The FIA and Formula 1 have been in discussion for a long time about the possibility of an 11th Formula 1 team on the grid in 2025. This might come closer and closer as it's speculated that the decision will be public somewhere around September. There are already some manufacturers who made it public that they want to join Formula 1 and some manufacturers who didn't. In this video we will look at the four possible candidates who already made it public that they are interested or teams I would like to see on the F1 grid. Andretti Motorsport. Their story begins in 1993 when Barry Green and Gary Forsyth founded a racing team known as Forsyth Green Racing. A year later, the team underwent a change, with Barry Green's brother Kim Green joining the ranks, leading to the team being renamed the Green Team. Fast forward to 2001 and the team welcomed a familiar face, former driver Michael Andretti as a co-owner. This pivotal moment marked the birth of a new era and the team transitioned to become Andretti Green Racing. The team's commitment to excellence bore fruit in 1995 when under the leadership of driver Jacques Villeneuve they clinched the Champ Car Championship. Villeneuve's impressive performance with four wins and six pole positions secured the team's first championship title. The victory would stand as a significant milestone in the team's history. Andretti Autosport continued to attract top tier talent. Tracy, between 1998 and 2002, and Franchitti, who joined it in 1998, left their mark on the track. Franchitti's incredible run included a second place finish in the championship in 1999, and he continued his journey as a team made the transition to the IndyCar series in 2003. The move to the IndyCar series proved to be a game changer for Andretti Autosport. The team quickly established itself as a force to be reckoned with. In 2007, the team celebrated its third championship title, this time with Dario Franchitti behind the wheel. But that was just the beginning. Andretti Autosport's prowess extended to the iconic Indianapolis 500. The team secured victories at the famed race with three different drivers. Jacques Villeneuve's win marked the final appearance of the race on the the champ car calendar before its move to the IndyCar series. Then in 2005 the talented Brit Dan Weldon triumphed, followed by Dario Franchitti's victory in 2007. The year 2009 witnessed yet another transformative moment for the team. Andretti Green Racing became Andretti Autosport reflecting the strong bond between Michael Andretti and the team's commitment to excellence. The lineup featured notable names like Danica Patrick, Tony Kanan, Marco Andretti and Hideki Muto, showcasing a diverse array of racing talent. And now they have their eyes on the pinnacle of motorsport, Formula One. That's right, Andretti's vision is crystal clear. In collaboration with General Motors Cadillac, he's gunning for a spot on the F1 grid by 2025. When asked about the ambitious timeline, Andretti confidently stated that they are already building a team. The prospect of seeing the Andretti name back in Formula 1 is nothing short of thrilling, and adding Cadillac to the mix only amplifies the excitement. The Andretti Cadillac partnership is already turning heads as one of the most high profile applicants in the endeavor, but they are not alone in the race. High Tech Racing Their tale begins in 2002 when Dennis Russian and David Hill joined forces to create a racing powerhouse known as High Tech Pulse 8. The team's initial focus was on the British Formula 3 Championship, making their debut on the track in 2003, with a lineup of talented drivers like Danny Watts and Eric Salignon. High Tech quickly made their presence felt, securing pole positions in podium finishes in their inaugural season. The years that followed witnessed an influx of exceptional talent into the high tech ranks. Drivers like Marco Asmer, James Walker and Lucas Di Grassi left their mark on the track, with notable wins and podium finishes. Di Grassi's debut at the Macau Grand Prix resulted in a memorable podium, further solidifying the team's reputation as a force to be reckoned with. High Tech's relentless pursuit of excellence culminated in championship glory. In 2007, with the skilled driving of Marco Asmer, the team clinched the British F3 Championship title, dominating the competition. They secured numerous pole positions, wins and fastest laps, leaving a lasting legacy on the championship. High Tech's determination wasn't limited to a single series. 
the team expanded its horizons, participating in the reverse championships such as the FIA Formula 2 Championship, FIA Formula 3 Championship, GB3 Championship and the Formula Regional Middle East Championship. Their versatile approach showcased their commitment to excellence on a global stage. The story of high-tech Pulse A doesn't stop there. In recent years, the team's ambitions have grown even further. In a surprising turn of events, Hitech announced their interest in potentially joining the Formula 1 grid. In 2023, the team officially launched an entry to join the Formula 1 championship in 2026, a move that could mark a new chapter in their storied history. Porsche the motorsport community was sent into a frenzy when whispers of Porsche's potential entry in Formula 1 started circulating. The renowned German sports car manufacturer had the backing of the Volkswagen Group and seemed poised to make its mark on the F1 world in 2026. But as we've come to know, the road to F1 glory isn't always a smooth one. To get to the bottom of the Porsche saga, we need to zoom out and take a look at the bigger picture. Volkswagen's decision to grant F1 mandates to both Porsche and Audi was a strategic move. They recognized the incredible branding potential of Formula 1's global stage. Top executive Herbert Dies shed light on their reasoning. Porsche set out on this journey with ambitious goals. They aimed for a partnership with equal footing. Porsche didn't just want to be an engine supplier. They sought a meaningful stake in the team's decisions, eyeing a 50% partnership. But this is where things get interesting. Porsche's rapid progress towards an F1 partnership encountered a roadblock. Despite promising initial discussions, the deal with Red Bull Racing hit a snag. The sticking point? Autonomy. Key figures at Red Bull, like Christian Horner and Helmut Marko, were hesitant to surrender control over their team's direction. The disagreement ultimately led to a standstill. The desire for a balanced partnership, coupled with Red Bull's insistence on retaining control, left Porsche in a tight spot. Porsche aimed for more than just an engine supplier role, but they couldn't catch the comprehensive engine package that Honda, a proven success in modern F1, could offer. Furthermore, Porsche's vision of shared decision-making didn't align with Red Bull's vision for independence. Now, here's where the plot thickens. Could Porsche's F1 dream still be alive? Recent whispers suggest that Porsche might not be giving up on their F1 aspirations just yet. While their discussions with Red Bull didn't plan out, the door to the F1 paddock might not be completely closed. Porsche's situation isn't set in stone. If they're willing to reconsider their terms and perhaps be more flexible, they could find themselves back in the race for an F1 entry as an 11th F1 team. After all, F1 is a realm of ever-shifting alliances and unexpected twists. And last but not least, Toyota Gazoo Racing. Toyota's journey in the world of motorsport has been nothing short of impressive. From the dusty rally stages to the grueling endurance tracks, this Japanese powerhouse has left its mark across various racing disciplines. Their journey into motorsport began decades ago, making a memorable impact in the World Rally Championship. The roar of their rally cars echoed through treacherous terrains as they clinched multiple championship titles. The Toyota Celica and Corolla became iconic symbols of speed and agility, etching their legacy into the annals of rallying history. Toyota didn't stop there. The allure of endurance racing beckoned, and Toyota answered the call with gusto. Their dominant performance in the FIA World Endurance Championship showcased their engineering prowess as they conquered the legendary 24 Hours of Le Mans cementing their status as a force to be reckoned with in the world of endurance racing. Now, fasten your seatbelts, because here comes the exciting part. The possibility of Toyota joining Formula 1 grid. After their remarkable achievements in rallying and endurance racing, I thought maybe Toyota has an interest in conquering yet another frontier, the accelerating world of Formula 1. What's giving Toyota's potential entry in Formula 1? Well, it seems that Toyota, having tasted success in various motorsport disciplines, might be eyeing Formula 1 as the ultimate challenge to prove their mettle. The allure of battling it out on the grand stage against some of the finest racing teams in the world could be irresistible for this motorsport giant. So, these are the four teams that I think have a possibility of joining the Formula 1 grid as an 11 team in 2025. Some more probable than the other. But as motorsport fans, we can only await with anticipation. And we can't wait to hear the news of the 11 team on the grid. Thank you for watching. Please like and don't forget to subscribe for more motorsport content. 
and I'll see you next time.